What's up YouTube? Welcome to today's video. We're going to talk about something that I know is probably fresh on your mind and it's why you click this video. We're going to talk about the real reason that the girl you're trying to talk to, the girl you're after, plays games with you. Without further delay, let's get right into it because this is a hot topic and I know it's something you want to learn about. Let's talk about first and foremost, the time, the kind of girls that are going to play games. So in my experience, I'm 30 years old. I have talked to a range of different females that are, you know, from as young as when I was younger, like 18, 19 years old when I was that age, or, you know, even a little bit older and all the way up to, I've talked to girls that are 33, 34. Okay. Let me tell you something right now. <laughs> Women that are above 28, 29, they're not playing games. Their communication, I'm gonna use these words a lot, is overt, meaning that when you ask them a question or you ask them to go to dinner or you ask them to come over your, your place, you're gonna get a response that's like, yes, I'm free at 5 p.m. or no, I can't do that that day. What day works for you otherwise or something like that. They're gonna be very straightforward and overt and how they communicate with you. When it comes to younger females, these are gonna be girls that are under the age of 25, in my opinion. They are not gonna act like this. Their communication style is going to be a lot more covert, meaning that there's a lot more hidden language and you gotta kinda like decode things and understand how women speak and how their language works, okay? And it's very confusing, especially if you're a younger guy and you're trying to understand this stuff. In fact, even most men that are older don't understand this stuff. Now, unfortunately and fortunately for you guys, I have had a lot of experience with this. I have talked to tons and tons of girls in my life and I've had miserable failures of talking stages or relationships and I've had really, really good success with them as well. And so I can tell you right now that when I would talk to younger girls, okay, this would be, like I said, in that younger age range, you know, since I'm 30, I haven't talked to a girl beneath the age of 23, 24 in quite a long time. But when I used to talk to those girls who were 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, even 24, those girls almost always played games. The reason they played games is because they can. Those girls are in the prime years of their beauty and of their potential, okay? Once women hit 25, 26, there is definitely starting to be a trend for majority, not all of them, a majority of them are gonna start trending downwards with what I just said. Now, a lot of this reason, and this is not the video to get into this, is because they just stopped taking care of themselves, okay? A lot of them get in relationships, so they get married or whatever, and you know they kind of give up taking care of themselves. They were a lot better at that when they were 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. But the other thing here is that their biology just works that way. Now, as a man, this is totally different. As you start to age and you get to like 30 years old, you're starting to hit your prime, okay? But women, have a biological clock with how long they're able to have children for. So when a woman is 20, 21, 19, 23, that clock is so still, you know, it's like if, if it's a 24 hour day and we're talking about their biological clock, they're at like three, 4 PM. Okay. They got plenty of time left. Now, when you're talking about that 30 year old woman, that 31 year old, 32 year old woman, they're all about it, right? Because they're, they're running out of time. Like in their mind, they're thinking, I got to meet a guy, make this work, and start having kids in the next couple years. Like pronto, like now, okay? So they're not going to play games with you because they can't afford to do that. So the younger women are going to play those games because they have the, the upper hand in terms of the leverage in most of these relationships because you let them. You let them have that leverage because you're the one that's coming off needy and anxious about the whole thing. And when she, you ask her to you know, hang out or date or like go on a date or whatever, and she just likes your message or she kind of gives you a, well, we'll see, I might be busy that night. And you kind of are like, well, let me know. Or you follow up and you're like, I don't really understand. Like, does that mean yes or no? You're giving her the upper hand. Really what she's trying to do is gain that upper hand on you because she knows she can't. 
Not only are you asking her out, she's got like, if she's an attractive girl, she's got like five to 10 guys minimum hitting her up all the time, okay? So how do you separate yourself and get through this game playing to make sure that you're not one of those complete simps that she just disrespects? You just don't play the game or you play the game back to her. The guy that ends up not caring the most is gonna win out. When you have too much emotional investment too quickly, that is the biggest turn off to females. So when she starts playing games with you, and you know exactly what I mean by playing games, she's, she's not answering you directly, she might be giving you mixed signals and all this kind of stuff, the best thing you could do is number one, just move on, okay? I'll be honest with you. Like, but if you really want this girl, what you have to do is you gotta stop playing the game. You need to turn the tide back on her. You need to get more options. You need to end up you know, reversing the psychology on her. You know, when she comes back and says, eh, you know, you ask her to go out on Friday and she says, well, we'll see, I might be busy. Don't answer, no answer, no answer. No double text, no double Snapchat, don't like her Instagram stuff, like just literally pretend she doesn't exist anymore. You will see how quickly that girl will come back around and stop playing that game because you're choosing to be different because she's doing that to all those other guys. Remember I said she's probably got five to 10 guys minimum hitting her up. If she's really attractive, she's probably got 15 or 20. And when you're the guy that's not partaking in that, guess what happens? She thinks and realizes you're different. And it's because you are. Because those other guys are simping hard for her. You're not. I have literally watched this happen time and time again. There was a girl who I tried to talk to back in the fall of last year. Um, this would be like, you know, September or August through like October of 2023. It's 2024 now, it's July. I tried way too hard with her, okay? Again, she fell in that age range. She was 22, now she's like 23, and guess what? I tried too hard, she lost interest, and then what happened? Well, I ended up going to Florida and um, but, but before that, I should say, when, when I say I went to Florida, I lived there from like December through April, uh, May of 2024. But when I went there, before I went there, I started to ignore her. I would see her in the gym or whatever, and I would just straight up ignore her. And guess what happened? She started to chase harder. Now, women will, again, remember, covert and overt communication. Covert meaning she never said directly to me, I want you, but she didn't have to because I have the experience of knowing this. She'd show up at the gym when I'm there. She would be the first person to look at my Instagram stories or Snapchat stories or whatever because she had my notifications on, okay? So she's paying attention to what I'm doing. And this continued until I left. And then when I was in Florida and I had other different you know, girls I was talking to down there and I came back, this all started again. Because when I came back, I did not go and pay you know, overly an abundance of attention to her. You understand? So what I did was I completely reversed this trend because this girl's like a nine, 10 attractiveness. And she's thinking like, wait a minute, this guy used to be into me. Why is he not into me anymore? And so then she started showing up at the gym all the time when I would be there, going out of her way to talk to me. You know, you could see it in a girl's eyes if she likes you. It's very, very easy. Um, I chose not to pursue it because now I have a girlfriend that doesn't play games like that. But the thing is, you have to understand and see these things play out in your own life to understand how they work. So if you want that to happen and you want to understand why they play games and why, they're, why she's playing games with you, it's because she can. She has plenty of options. You got to become the best option. And the only way to become the best option is to keep building yourself as a man so that Eventually, you just stop dealing with this stuff because the girls, the same way you're looking at that girl as a nine or a 10, you want them to look at you as a nine or a 10, right? And the only way to do that is keep building yourself. You wanna become a high value man. And the only way to do that is to build your physique, to build yourself mentally, to build yourself emotionally, and to build yourself financially. You keep growing and building your life. You understand what masculinity is all about. It's about being centered in your purpose. You're not making this girl the priority in your life. You're not making any girl the priority in your life. I have a girlfriend, as I just said, she's not the priority in my life. And she knows that. She, in fact, respects that. That's why she, that's part of the reason why she's drawn to me because I'm committed to a higher purpose. As a man, that's what we always should be doing. 
So remember, the reason she plays games with you is because you're letting her. You let her play games with you. You let her have the upper hand on you psychologically. You let her have the upper hand on you because you're pedestalizing her and you're seeing her as this amazing thing. And now all of a sudden, guess what? She has the upper hand and she knows it and she loves it because she wants that attention. More than anything, she wants attention from you. So you gotta reverse that trend. This is really the tip of the iceberg when it comes to females and why they play games, but this gives you a lot of good insight. And remember, stop playing the game. If you want her to stop playing games with you, you've got to stop participating. Thank you guys so much for being a part of this video. Like I said, I really hope it helped you immensely. I know how frustrating and challenging, especially when you're a young man, it can be to really understand this stuff because women are just straight up confusing until you really understand and master the art of how they are, which it takes years of doing this. It takes years of experience. So I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you like this video because I wanna push this out to as many men as possible so we can help our brothers to not be confused about whatever situations that they're dealing with with women. So I will see you guys in that next video. Have a great day or night, depending on whenever you're watching this.